Hey everybody, welcome to the Speed Boost RC channel. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We are back over here with the Limitless. I've been going through it with a fine tooth comb, trying to find out what got damaged, what didn't get damaged. And besides the frame being slightly tweaked, I think the car is okay. Uh, I did break some um, ends on the sway bars and stuff like that but but nothing too serious so uh these are the trusty grps that we've been running on for a little while now and they have served us pretty well um i have gone through them and checked all the glue and they seem to be okay uh i did add some glue to them where i felt like it was a little lacking uh but i do want to take it out for another speed run today I do not want to call this weekend a complete bust from yesterday's crashes. So now uh, the plan is, is we're going to pack this thing up. We got to charge. We got to put it back together. Everything's aligned. I've measured out every single wheel, making sure that everything is straight. So, you know, we're going to do another hit. We're going to do another hit and I, I want to see how it goes. But I feel like this is it for... The grps i have new wheels on the way uh from bsr and i have some other ones on the way too that i'm going to give it a try uh just so i'm not putting all of my eggs in one basket because if the bsrs fail or something you know i don't want to have nothing else to go to to lean back on we are back at another location a different location where we are going to try to do another speed run uh a little nervous since yesterday's debacle that happened with our speed run uh if you haven't seen that video please take a look we ended up crashing uh the limitless at 107 miles an hour uh we did we did we did go through it and and take care of some things and i i think it's ready to go uh we're gonna try to do one or two passes on a new road uh it's not as dusty as the old place and and it's a little longer so hopefully everything goes well we are taking safety a lot more seriously uh since the last run i've always thought of these as just a higher point to stand on so i could see the car further well coming to find out that they can really save a life so these chairs man these step stools uh we are we're no longer going to be standing by the road without somebody having one of those uh, we everybody needs to always have the high ground or stay away from the car uh, What happened yesterday was a big eye-opener because somebody could have really gotten hurt. I did um, recalibrate the the ESC uh, Somebody did tell me that since I put a booster on there that I should have probably recalibrated it before before I did the run So that was done. It is recalibrated That seemed pretty fast. Guys, we didn't go on. Go over. What do we get? Please get a good life That didn't seem pretty fast. 122! 122, okay, so it okay. is faster. It is faster. I did I do think I got on the batteries. I, I think I got on the throttle a little bit too heavy. Um let me see how hot the motor is. The motor motor's not hot. So the motor's not hot. Um we're gonna go back to back. All right. Your big head's in the way. You see like it's kind of like wobbling.
Is he wobbling? Is he wobbling? One twenty nine. One twenty nine. That's nice. All right. So one twenty nine. One twenty nine. All right. Let's see, let's see how hot it is. I mean, it's hot, but like barely. We can't let it sit for too long. It's like barely hot. I feel like the ESC is more hot than, than the actual motor. So I wonder if that means that we are trying to pull too much power out of the ESC. Monster. Hey look, this, this, there's an ant on this car. And this ant's about to go for a ride. Oh, this ant's out of here. This, he's gonna like go back to his, uh, he's gonna go back to the colony and be like, guys, you, you will not. You have no idea. <laughs> you will not believe what I just went through. Your big head's in the way, I can't see anything. I mean, our loving viewers can't see anything. Did we start it? Yeah, I started it. Oh, you started? You did? Alright. It cut power. I felt it cut power earlier. See how fast it went, Nikolai, because it cut power. I don't know if I gave gas too hard or what, but it cut power. What are you doing? 80. 80? Yeah. Seems about right. See, the motor's not hot. The ESC's not that hot either. What's the What's the fastest we got? 133. 133. Yeah. We're close to 150. Yeah. We need like full throttle it. I wonder what. Right now. What's wrong with it? Did it cut power again? Did it cut power again? Did you start it? Yeah. Alright, Nikolai. I wonder why it's running really rough. 105. Alright guys, so the most we were able to get today is uh, 129. I don't know why I started doing this. I don't know if you guys can uh, help me out. Like, wait, why is it doing this? Like it's, like it's shaking. That's kind of what the infraction started doing too. It's not smooth. The 
motor's not hot. So I, I let I let this car cool off for a bit and it seems to be running completely fine now. So I think maybe I just overheated the ESC. I, I'm not really certain, but um, it's running fine. It's not clogging anymore. It's, it's a, it just seems to be working perfectly fine now. So during during today's run, the car overall on the first pass seemed to have run fine. Did not seem like there were any issues, but the second pass, it cut power rather quickly. And then on the third pass, and I've, 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 I've felt the motor, I felt the ESC, neither one felt very warm. So I decided to do basically three passes back to back. And uh, something happened to where the motor stopped running smoothly. It was it was cogging over and over again, and it just it just did not run well. I tried letting it cool down for a bit. It did not help. Uh, ended up bringing the car home, and after it sat in the car, I took it out, and it seemed to run completely fine. I don't really know what I did wrong. I felt I feel like I I eased into it. And today when we got our 129 mile pass the motor was only moving at uh, 46,000 rpm so i think i have it geared wrong but my gearing currently is 45 on the spur and 30 on the pinion so maybe that's not right maybe that's maybe that's a that's not the right ratio so maybe i just loaded down the motor a little bit too much but I don't think I damaged anything. Uh, the motor itself seems fine. The ESC seemed like it was bad. I was ready to toss out another ESC, but the ESC does seem like it's functioning fine. So I, I don't think anything is actually broken. I kept on getting power cut. And if you guys look, my amperage is only 417 amps. I used to run in the 500 without a problem. So that seems kind of low. I did get the ESC hot, which it got up to 72, um, but it's not too bad. And the motor got to 73. So everything, everything did get hot, but I guess I don't get this. Like the, the fastest the motor shows that it, was, that it spun is 38,000 RPM. And that just, uh, I mean, that just kind of seems not possible with a, with a, 30 tooth pinion and a 45 tooth spur i would think that this number would be a lot higher and when i had a 20 tooth pinion and a 45 tooth spur my motor used to spin at like 106,000 rpm but now my rpm is is quite low car's okay uh the tires survived 129 mile an hour pass so Please like and subscribe, leave me comments and let me know how we did. I'm sure there were some mistakes that were made and just trying to learn from this. I read every single one of your guys' comments. You guys helped me a lot, so thank you. And until next time, keep your wheels on the ground and your speeds high. <laughs>